From the exotic streets of Asia to the remote corners of Africa, this script delves into the bizarre and fascinating world of global cuisine, where boundaries are constantly being pushed. Brace yourself for a tantalizing adventure filled with surprises, where every dish tells a unique story of culture, tradition, and culinary innovation. Get ready to expand your palate and challenge your perceptions as we uncover the most peculiar delicacies that defy expectations. Be warned, some of these 20 weirdest foods eaten around the world might shock you. Number 20. Fried Tarantulas Fried tarantulas, an unusual delicacy in Cambodian cuisine, have made their way onto platters and into conversations. While the idea of eating enormous, hairy spiders may not appeal to everyone, survival frequently requires the discovery of unexpected food sources. This was true in Cambodia, where famine compelled people to adapt and invent in their search for food under the Khmer Rouge's harsh dictatorship. In the midst of terrible conditions, Cambodians learned that tarantulas were not only edible, but also remarkably tasty. Fried to a crisp, these arachnids became a source of nourishment and surprisingly, a popular snack all throughout the country. The deep-fried spiders, while appearing unpleasant to some, are said to have a crab-like flavor and provide a savory alternative in times of shortage. Since the fall of the Khmer Rouge dictatorship, the habit of eating fried tarantulas has continued, but as a choice rather than a necessity. Despite the shame associated with eating such odd foods, Many Cambodians continue to embrace this culinary practice, praising its distinct flavor and cultural importance. The intake of fried tarantulas initiates a discussion about the intricacies of food culture and the moral quandaries inherent in culinary experimentation. The discussion over creepy-crawly cuisine prompts us to consider the larger ramifications of our food choices, as well as the cultural circumstances that form our conceptions of what is appropriate to eat. It challenges preconceived beliefs and promotes open-mindedness in discovering the broad range of culinary traditions found across the world. So, would you dare to try fried tarantulas? Number 19. Balut In the Philippines' gastronomic environment, one dish stands out for its unmistakable shock value. Balut, or fertilized duck eggs. As the name implies, balut consists of eggs in which a growing bird embryo has been incubated for several weeks. While these eggs have the potential for new life, they deviate from the traditional path by being fried and eaten before hatching, serving as a sharp reminder of life's inherent brutality. Balut, a Southeast Asian food classic, appears to be a simple hard-boiled egg. However, a closer look shows its actual nature, a rigid shell encasing a duck embryo in various stages of development. The sight of the embryo, with recognizable characteristics and form, is enough to upset even the strongest stomachs, especially those acclimated to Western culinary sensibilities. Consumption of balut is an experience that disrupts cultural standards and pushes the limits of gourmet inquiry. For some, the notion of eating a partly grown embryo is too much, evoking sensations of disgust and discomfort. The image of the embryo's face, a painful memory of its untimely demise, serves as a reminder of the intricacies of food culture and the ethical quandaries it frequently presents. While balut may generate strong responses from people unfamiliar with it, it is beloved in Filipino and Southeast Asian culinary traditions. For many, it is more than just a meal. It is a sign of resilience and resourcefulness, a monument to individuals who have adapted to their surroundings hardships. Number 18. Shirako. In Japan, amidst a landscape of culinary wonders, there exists a dish that may challenge even the most adventurous of palates, shako, which aptly translates to white children. This delicacy, though intriguingly named, ventures into the realm of the bazaar, as it is made from the sperm sacs of various fish species, including cod, pufferfish, and anglerfish. The origins of shirako's alleged health advantages are unknown, allowing curious minds to investigate the enigmatic virtues hidden inside its gelatinous structure. Visually, shirako provides no comfort to the faint of heart. Its look, resembling amorphous blobs of white goo, draws unavoidable analogies to microscopic brains. Such an aesthetic does little to whet the appetite, with its eerie likeness to cerebral matter raising more questions than answers. 
Indeed, the very sight of Shirako may deter all but the most adventurous gourmet fans. Despite its frightening origins and appearance, Shirako's taste is said to defy expectations, with some comparing it to the sweetness of custard. This unique flavor profile, combined with its unconventional makeup, stimulates both fascination and aversion in equal measure. The concept of swallowing fish sperm sacs may appear absurd, but for those willing to take the risk, the payoff is an experience that challenges conventional concepts of taste and texture. However, for many, the prospect of indulging in Shirako remains firmly relegated to the domain of curiosity. The combination of its odd taste and ugly look raises concerns about its culinary value. Number 17. Peruvian Kai Kai, a Peruvian delicacy, is very popular and available throughout Peru. This classic dish comprises guinea pigs prepared in a variety of cooking ways, including spit roasting and frying, for a tasty and tender gastronomic experience. While ki is traditionally served by Peruvians on special occasions, it has also become a popular meal among tourists looking to immerse themselves in the local cuisine. As a result, shops and restaurants accommodate visitor demand by selling ki all year, cementing its reputation as a must-try delicacy in Peru. Beyond Peru, ki is popular in other parts of South America, such as Colombia and Bolivia, where guinea pigs are considered pests rather than pets. Cooked guinea pig is commonly served with potatoes and vegetables, resulting in a full and fulfilling meal that highlights the region's culinary diversity. Ki is beloved not only for its culinary appeal, but also as a cultural icon that commemorates tradition and legacy. Its presence on dining tables during festive events emphasizes its importance in Peruvian and South American culture, generating a sense of community and shared identity among both natives and visitors. While eating guinea pigs may seem unusual to some, Cuy provides a delightful and authentic taste of Peru and South America for those ready to try new foods. Number 16. White Ant Egg Soup White Ant Egg Soup is a dish in Laos and Thailand's culinary repertoire that may elicit both intrigue and mistrust at first glance. Many people find it strange, if not disgusting, to consume ants and their eggs. Nonetheless, in some areas, this soup is not only acceptable but revered as a traditional and tasty delicacy. The soup, made from weaver ant eggs, is a staple among impoverished farmers throughout Asia. It is often prepared with a variety of ingredients, including chicken stock, spring onions, chilies, fish sauce, lemongrass, shallots, and tamarind. These tastes combine to create a broth that covers the innate earthiness of the ant eggs, leaving the palate with a savory and aromatic experience. While the idea of putting ant eggs into soup may raise some eyes, it is important to note that these components are not exclusive to this dish. Ant eggs, known for their sour flavor and evocative of the countryside, are frequently used as a garnish for a variety of different cuisines. Their incorporation lends a particular depth of flavor and texture to culinary creations, while also providing insight into the region's diverse gastronomic traditions. In Thailand, a similar respect for odd ingredients may be seen in the use of scarab beetles, which are crushed up and put into their own version of ant egg soup. This flavor fusion, while unorthodox to some, exemplifies Asian cuisine's resourcefulness and originality in which ingredients that were formerly considered unconventional are converted into gourmet delicacies. Number 15. Fugu Fugu, a delicacy prepared from puffer fish, is beloved in Japan's culinary culture, but it comes with a dangerous warning. Wrong preparation can be lethal. The fish has the strong neurotoxin tetrodotoxin in its organs, needing careful handling to prevent the toxin from contaminating the flesh. Despite the inherent risks, some people cannot resist the fascination of fugu and seek to cook it themselves, frequently without the necessary skills. While fugu is certainly one of the world's most unique delicacies, it is best to proceed with caution and avoid adding it to one's gastronomic bucket list unless safe preparation is ensured. For the daring, there is a tempting attraction in indulging in the liver, which is known for its wonderful richness and velvety texture. However, it is precisely this section that contains the largest concentration of poisons, prompting Japanese diners to accept the risk of food illness. Consumption of fugu requires a careful mix of culinary curiosity and measured risk, 
highlighting the complexity of gourmet inquiry. While its attractiveness stems from its rarity and novelty, fugu necessitates a level of caution and competence that few can afford to ignore. In Japan, fugu preparation is considered an art form, reserved for trained and certified chefs who have undergone rigorous training to assure the safety of their customers. For those with an insatiable hunger for culinary adventure, trying fugu under the supervision of a seasoned specialist provides a unique opportunity to taste its distinct flavors without jeopardizing safety. Number 14. Jellied Moose Nose While the idea of eating nose is not a frequent culinary choice for many people, it retains a special place in Canada as a traditional delicacy with strong origins in indigenous culture. The habit of using every part of the moose, including the snout, originated when indigenous hunters in Canada and Alaska relied on the complete carcass to feed their families for weeks. Waste was not an option, thus every portion of the moose was either eaten or preserved. This featured the typically neglected cheek and neck flesh, which when properly cooked, resembled delicate braised beef akin to grandma's home cuisine. But how do you prepare and enjoy a moose nose? The procedure begins with carefully removing the fur, which can be singed or pulled away after boiling. After cleaning, the nose is sliced and cooked with onions, garlic, and spices to infuse it with rich tastes. The cooked nose is then piled in a skillet and coated with a gelatinous broth, which allows it to harden into a jelly-like texture. Finally, the dish is cut and served, presenting a distinct combination of textures, ranging from chewy cartilage fragments to soft, meaty sections. The decision on the flavor of jellied moose nose is still subjective, with drastically differing viewpoints. Some may find the flavor powerful and satisfying, while others may proceed with caution. Regardless, its significance stems not just from its taste, but also from its cultural legacy, which demonstrates indigenous people's resourcefulness and creativity in utilizing every part of the animal for nutrition. Number 13. Hormiga Colona Hormiga Colona, a unique delicacy from the Colombian area of Santander, is a culinary oddity that both locals and visitors enjoy. These enormous leafcutter ants, predominantly females, are a protein-rich food popular in the region, often compared to peanuts. Hormiga Colona, literally translating to big-bottomed ant, belongs to the Ata levigata species, which is one of the numerous leafcutter ants prevalent in the area. Historically, the Guan Indians of Santander gathered these ants as a key protein source, understanding their quantity of lipids, vitamins, and minerals required for survival. Hormiga Colona's harvesting season normally runs from April to May, coinciding with the rainy season in Barachara. During these months, farmers go on a treasure hunt, searching the terrain for the desired ants. Female ants, identifiable by their bulging abdomens packed with eggs, are the prized quarry at this season, marking a centuries-old ritual well-rooted in Colombian society. Hormiga Colona is not only a popular snack, but it is also considered an aphrodisiac in Guan tradition. The Guan people view the egg-laden bottoms of ants as fertility symbols, believing that eating them before reproduction improves health. As a result, Hormiga Colona is still a popular wedding gift, thought to bestow the blessings of numerous children on the newlyweds. Hormiga Colona is commonly prepared by frying or roasting the ants in a big metal kettle seasoned with salt. Cooking the ants alive helps to preserve their flavor, removing any bitterness that would otherwise occur. The toasting procedure removes the ants' wings and legs, leaving behind a crispy, reddish-brown body full of flavor. Number 12. Wasp Cookies Wasp cookies, also known as jibachi senbei, are an unusual Japanese delicacy that pushes the limits of gastronomic discovery. These crackers, reminiscent of classic senbei rice crackers, have a unique twist. They are loaded with digger wasps, Water, eggs, sugar, salt, oil, sesame seeds, and soy sauce combine to make a unique and unconventional snack. The method of making wasp crackers is rooted in history, with experienced wasp hunters, often in their octogenarian years, playing an important role. These seasoned hunters trek into the countryside, methodically placing traps to catch the elusive digger wasps. Once trapped, the wasps are carefully cooked in water, which is an important step in preparing them for inclusion in the cracker recipe. Following the boiling process, 
the wasps are carefully dried before being combined with the rice cracker mixture. The final blend, infused with the essence of digger wasps, is then delicately stamped into shape with a hot iron cracker cutter, guaranteeing that each cracker has the distinct flavor of its individual filling. These one-of-a-kind crackers, a monument to Japanese gastronomy's inventiveness and culinary imagination, can be obtained at local markets or select gourmet stores, providing adventurous food fans with a rare opportunity to indulge in a truly unique gastronomic experience. Number 11. Locusts. The prospect of a locust swarm is more than just a legacy of biblical stories. It is nevertheless a real and dangerous menace to communities today. These swarms, which consist of billions of insects, have the capacity to wreak devastation on enormous areas of land, eating everything in their path. While locusts are usually solitary insects, their swarms can turn into cataclysmic events with disastrous effects. In 2020, several East African countries faced the looming threat of locust swarms, with huge attacks decimating entire harvests in minutes. These hungry insects ravage crops, wreaking havoc that can last months. The damage extends beyond plants. Locusts devour grazing meadows, affecting cattle livelihoods. Adding to the carnage, locusts breed rapidly during their feeding frenzy, compounding the crisis. In the face of such vast destruction, the idea of eating these pests may appear strange. However, locusts are the only insects considered kosher, making them a viable source of nutrition in times of scarcity. Locusts can be prepared in a variety of ways, including deep frying and covering them in chocolate, which makes them unexpectedly tasty. While the concept may arouse fear, locusts can be a viable food supply, especially in areas devastated by their destructive swarms. Number 10. Boshintang. Boshintang is a soup adored in Korea for its alleged health advantages, made with a combination of ingredients such as spring onions, dandelion, and a variety of spices. However, among these traditional ingredients is a contentious addition, dog meat. This long-standing cuisine, which is still loved by some elder generations, has been praised for its nutritional qualities, despite its problematic history. The use of dog meat in Boshintang symbolizes a centuries-old practice that is strongly embedded in Korean culture. However, as attitudes toward animal welfare and culinary traditions shift, the consumption of dog meat has declined in popularity. In a recent poll, the majority of respondents stated that they had never had this traditional meal, indicating a change away from its once ubiquitous presence in Korean cuisine. The reduction in the popularity of dog meat consumption can be ascribed to a number of factors, including the influence of Western culture and heightened awareness of animal rights issues. Indeed, the idea of eating dog meat is still controversial, especially in Western countries where it is frowned upon and condemned. As public mood swings toward greater sympathy for animals, arguments for the prohibition of dog meat have gained support. According to surveys, a large majority of the people support legislation that would restrict the consumption of dog meat entirely. This is consistent with the government's efforts to address the issue, which include conversations about formalizing laws to prevent its sale and consumption. Number 9. Century Eggs The century egg, a unique Chinese delicacy, is an acquired taste, to say the least. Crafted from duck eggs, this delicacy undergoes an unusual transformation. The eggs are immersed in a mixture of water, salt, coal, and calcium oxide, and left to mature for an astonishing hundred days. During this period, a stunning change occurs underground. As the days pass, the eggshell gradually dissolves, succumbing to the merciless forces of time and chemical interaction. What emerges from this subterranean incubation is a sight to behold. The once pristine egg white morphs into a gelatinous mass tinged with brown, while the yolk experiences a dramatic transformation, taking on a dark green, mold-like appearance. While the description may not inspire immediate culinary delight, the century egg has a distinct and powerful flavor profile. Surprisingly strong and aromatic, it provides a sensory experience unlike any other. This historical technology, which dates back over five centuries, has changed over time, with modern methods supposedly resulting in a safer product for eating. The century egg is traditionally served as a solitary dish, but it occasionally finds its way into soups, giving a strong aroma 
or complementing fermented vegetables and salads. Despite its unusual appearance and strong flavor, the century egg continues to entice adventurous palates and inquiring gastronomes. The question remains, would you dare to try the century egg? Number 8. Huitlacoche Huitlacoche, often known as maize smut, is a unique Mexican dish that defies culinary conventions. This peculiar fungal growth, distinguished by its blue-black look on corn cobs, may cause revulsion in many regions of the world. However, in Mexico, it is regarded as a gastronomic treasure. The name Huitlacoche, which translates to sleeping excrement in Spanish, may not sound appealing, yet this fungus has gained popularity among Mexican gastronomes because of its distinct flavor character. Despite first feeding on the corn before it matures, Huitlacoche develops into a prized delicacy with an earthy, smoky flavor reminiscent of mushrooms. Huitlacoche has grown in popularity throughout Mexico and worldwide, appearing in a range of meals including quesadillas, omelets, tamales, and cream-based sauces. Its smooth texture and powerful flavor make it a versatile component that enhances the depth and complexity of gourmet dishes. While the appearance of maize smut growing on cobs may be unappealing, the transformation into wheat lacoche provides an unexpected taste experience. Once the psychological barrier of its look is passed, many people discover wheat lacoche to be a tasty addition to their meals, challenging conventional beliefs and broadening culinary horizons. Number 7. Dancing Shrimp Gung Ten, or Dancing Shrimp, is a Thai delicacy known for its unique preparation method, which brings crustaceans to life at the table. The name itself refers to the exciting sight that occurs when the shrimp are presented alive, with their frenzied movements simulating an impromptu dance performance. While some may find the concept disconcerting, it is critical to embrace this culinary adventure with an open mind and respect for cultural differences. The essence of Gung Ten is found in its authenticity and traditional preparation. The live shrimp are skillfully blended into a delightful sauce made with a Thai flavor blend to enhance the overall dining experience. As the sauce envelops the shrimp, they come to life, demonstrating a natural desire to escape their delectable confines. It's a sensory adventure that captures customers' attention and adds excitement to the meal. While Gung Ten is most famous in Thailand's northwest region, it has spread to other regions of Asia, particularly Laos, where it is regarded as a treasured culinary tradition. For intrepid food fans looking to embark on a gastronomic adventure, street food vendors in bustling northern Thai cities like Chiang Mai provide an excellent opportunity to try this uncommon delicacy firsthand. Number 6. Tuna Eyeballs Yes, you heard correctly. Tuna eyes are not only devoured in Japan, but they are also appreciated with passion, as they are said to impart wisdom and vigor to those who ingest them. Tuna eyes, known as madai in Japanese, are regarded as having possible cognitive benefits due to the omega-3 fatty acids found in fish. While the scientific truth of this concept is controversial, the link between fish diet and brain function is well documented, adding support to the theory. However, whether the eyes contain a concentrated source of these beneficial substances is unknown. Regardless of any health benefits, preparing tuna eyeballs is a simple process. They are typically cooked and seasoned with soy sauce, mirin, or sake before being served as a savory delicacy, providing a one-of-a-kind culinary experience for adventurous eaters. While the idea of eating eyeballs may make you uncomfortable, the end result is a dish that excites both the mouth and the imagination. A brief interruption to bring you our subscriber's pick. The giant isopod, despite its intimidating appearance, is not a malevolent creature. These massive water dwellers, which may reach lengths of up to 2.5 feet, resemble insects, but are actually crustaceans. They scavenge the ocean floor, devouring the decaying remnants of marine life, earning them the nickname vacuum cleaners of the deep. Despite their disturbing eating habits, Giant isopods play an important role in the marine ecosystem by recycling nutrients and maintaining the balance of the underwater world. While they lack the appeal of domestic appliances, their ability to clear up the ocean's debris is unrivaled. Although these creatures may appear to be an unusual food choice, they are considered a delicacy in other cultures. However, eating giant isopods comes with hazards. 
They should be consumed with caution because they may contain poisons and heavy metals. Mistaking them for other edible crustaceans may result in unforeseen consequences. Giant isopods have an intriguing texture and flavor, which entices daring eaters despite the possible risks. However, individuals who are apprehensive about stepping into such culinary terrain should not worry too much. While these organisms are intriguing, the risks of eating them may exceed the attraction. So does this creature awaken your appetite or kills it? Let us know in the comments below. Number 5. Hakarl. Eating Hakarl, a traditional Icelandic delicacy made from fermented shark meat, is an experience that combines culinary adventure with cultural tradition. The process of preparing Hakarl begins with catching the Greenland shark, a species that inhabits the icy waters around Iceland. Despite being poisonous when fresh due to high levels of urea and trimethylamine oxide, the shark meat is considered a delicacy when properly fermented. The preparation of hakarl involves a lengthy and labor-intensive process. After the shark is caught, it is gutted, and its meat is cut into large pieces. These pieces are then buried in a shallow pit or covered with sand and gravel, allowing the meat to ferment for several months to a year. During this time, the shark undergoes a process of decomposition and fermentation, which reduces its toxicity and imparts a distinct flavor. Once the fermentation process is complete, the shark meat is dug up and hung to dry for several months, usually in a well-ventilated area outdoors. This drying stage further intensifies the flavor and aroma of the meat, resulting in a strong, pungent odor that can be off-putting to those unaccustomed to it. Despite its challenging taste and smell, hakarl holds a special place in Icelandic culture and cuisine. It is often served as a traditional dish during festivals, celebrations, and special occasions, where it is enjoyed alongside other Icelandic delicacies. For those brave enough to try it, eating hakarl is not just about tasting a unique food, but also about participating in a centuries-old tradition that showcases Iceland's connection to its natural environment and culinary heritage. Number 4. Kasu Marzu While many exquisite foods may have unappealing origins or ingredients upon closer investigation, their culinary attraction is undeniably strong. For example, kazu marzu cheese from the Italian island of Sardinia is a delicacy that pushes the boundaries of gastronomic discovery, yet it is forbidden in many locations due to its unconventional production method, which involves maggots. Kazu marzu, dubbed the world's most deadly cheese, owes its reputation to the presence of cheese skipper flies, who play an important part in the fermenting process. These insects lay their eggs in holes in the cheese, and when they hatch, the maggots burrow into it, digesting proteins and changing the texture to a creamy, soft consistency. While many people find the prospect of eating maggot-infested cheese repugnant, it is a beloved delicacy with deep cultural and historical roots. Despite its contentious nature, Kasu Marzu has developed a devoted following among enthusiasts who value its rich flavor profile and distinct texture. Kazu Marzu manufacturing and consumption are not without risks, since the cheese's intake has been linked to potential health issues due to the presence of live maggots. As a result, regulatory organizations have declared it dangerous for ingestion in many places, resulting in its prohibition in a number of countries. Despite its expulsion from mainstream culinary circles, Kasu Marzu is revered in Sardinian gastronomy, representing the region's rich culinary tradition and spirit of culinary inventiveness. While Kasu Marzu is not for the faint of heart, those who embrace its unique attractions will have a genuinely remarkable culinary experience. So, while the idea of eating maggot-infested cheese may be repulsive to some, it is a monument to the culinary world's richness and complexity, a reminder that culinary delights frequently exist outside of traditional tastes and expectations. Number 3. Biondegi. Biondegi, a popular Korean delicacy, features roasted silkworm pupae in all their savory glory. These pupae depict a stage in the silkworm's life cycle as it progresses from larva to adult. Biondeji, a famous street food snack, piques the interest of adventurous eaters, including foreigners investigating Korean cuisine. The term beyondeji translates straight to chrysalis in English, providing insight into the pupae's metamorphosis process. In Korean culinary terminology, 
It usually refers to both cooked and uncooked insect-based cuisine. When encountered, Biondeji immediately captures the senses with its peculiar aroma, which is reminiscent of toasted wood. This strong smell sets the tone for the intense flavor character that awaits the daring palate. One of the distinguishing features of Biondeji is its distinct texture, which provides an unexpected gastronomic experience. The pupae, which resemble small pouches, hold a fascinating blend of flavors ready to burst forth. Despite their small size, some pupae can abruptly explode in the mouth, bringing excitement to each bite. While the aroma and taste of Biondegui may appear harsh at first, they are definitely intriguing, adding to the attraction of this Korean delicacy. Number 2. Muk Tuk Greenland's traditional delicacy provides a one-of-a-kind gourmet experience that is profoundly steeped in the Inuit cultural history. This legendary meal, made from frozen whale skin and fat, has fed generations of Greenlanders and is still a staple of their cuisine. Muktuk is typically eaten raw or pickled, and its flavor profile varies with each bite, creating a totally immersive gourmet encounter. However, its peculiar chewy texture may necessitate some acquired taste to truly appreciate it. Muktuks are multi-layered and provide a complicated sensory trip. First, there's the skin, which some say has a tinge of hazelnut flavor, though critics may challenge this considering its origins. Then there's the blubber, which is known for its unusually chewy texture. Finally, the protective covering adds a new depth to the culinary experience with its firm texture. While muktuk may appear intimidating to some due to its labor-intensive preparation and peculiar texture, it is a beloved cultural emblem in Greenland, demonstrating the endurance and inventiveness of its people. Despite its limitations, muktuk is a beloved staple of Greenlandic cuisine, serving as a reminder of the region's rich culinary heritage. So, while the notion of indulging in muktuk may not be for everyone, for those ready to go on this culinary trip, it offers a glimpse into Greenland's traditions and flavors. Number 1. Frog Legs Frog legs, known in French cuisine as cuisse de grenouille, are a unique delicacy made from the rear legs of frogs and prepared using a variety of culinary techniques. From grilling to stewing, stir-frying to baking, boiling to sautéing, and even battering and frying, these amphibious appendages take on a diverse culinary voyage, providing a variety of dining options. Frog legs are not only versatile in the kitchen, but they also have a high nutritional value. These delicacies are high in protein, omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin A, and potassium, making them a nutritious complement to any diet. While their nutritional benefits are obvious, it is their flavor and texture that truly captivate the senses. Many people describe frog meat as resembling both chicken and fish, and it offers a unique mix of flavors and sensations. Frog legs provide a familiar and novel culinary experience, with supple, luscious flesh like chicken and a delicate, mild flavor resembling certain fish kinds. Frog legs can be grilled to perfection, simmered in a hearty soup, tossed in a sizzling stir-fry, baked to golden brown perfection, boiled to tender perfection, sautéed with aromatic herbs and spices, or crispy battered and fried to a delightful crunch. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.